Hi, this is Sean from Technique Peak, and today I wanted to go over the hip scour test. This is another special test that's designed to reproduce symptoms uh, that are likely coming from within the hip joint or intraarticular hip pain. Uh, the test is bringing the hip through a range of motion to end range flexion and then circumducting to try to reproduce pain, catching clicking uh, coming from the hip joint, either from the joint surfaces, if there's any arthritis or cartilage wear, or if there's a labral tear that you're catching the surfaces there. Uh, so to perform the test, we're going to bring the patient's leg up into maximal flexion. We want to create an axial load through the hip at that maximal range of hip flexion and then move the hip around the surface of the acetabulum. Um, so you're trying to catch it along the superior rib. So you can have a grip, hands interlocking over the distal femur, over the patella. You're going to bring them into that maximal flexion and start in a little bit of adduction. And then the test is loading that hip joint and bringing them up and around through their end range of flexion, and then back around this way. It's usually a little uncomfortable, so you can perform it on the opposite side first. They get a sense for what it should feel like. Uh, there's no rotation with this test. It's not a twisting movement, but it's axial load through the hip and then bring the femur up and around through the range of motion and seeing if that reproduces any of their symptoms. A positive sign would be reproducing the patient's uh, pain or their tell sign, uh, and it usually is along the C, um, C sign, which is if you make a C with your hand and put it over the anterior part of your head. Thanks.